Hello everyone, Christina here. Thanks for joining me for another mail call video. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, mail call is a feature that I've brought back to my YouTube channel and my blog where I give all of you a theme for the month and then those who want to participate send me their cards according to that theme and then I share with you all of the cards once they've arrived in the mail. So I'm going to be showing you all of the cards for both months of May and June. Unfortunately, with travel and getting sick there in a little bit, you know, May into June, I wasn't able to film the May video. So I'm going to do both May and June together in this video. So the themes for May and June were, let's see, it was... Uh, wedding and love, and then also ink blending. And we don't have as many responses to the ink blending uh, prompt, I think because you guys didn't see me actually share the ones from the previous month, so you didn't know that it was still happening. So if you have a card that you were saving for June and you didn't send it in, go ahead and please still send it in. I will show it in an upcoming video. So like I've done in months past, I'm first going to show you the cards that really stood out to me when I was opening the mail. Uh, maybe if the design is really nice or I wanted to point something out that's really creative, anything like that. I'm going to be doing a mixture of both May and June as I share the cards with you. So I'll let you know which month it was for as I share each card. And then after I've done sharing the individual cards, then I will show you every single card that I've received for the last two months. So here we go. This first card is from Anita in Germany, and this is for June. So this is an ink blending card. I thought this was just such a fun, creative way to use an embossing folder. She's masked off an oval and ink blended inside. Um, I can't decide if she used like metallic inks or what, but there is a sheen and then run it through an embossing folder or she may have done it the other way around. I'm not sure which, but I thought it was just a really fun and easy, simple way to use an embossing folder and do some ink blending. This is another card for June and this is from Rachel in the UK. And I thought this was such a fun way. Well, first of all, you have the, the double texture of glitter paper and regular black cardstock. I just think it looks so cool. But then she's got these strips of ink blended uh, color panels. Uh, looks like she maybe even splattered on some metallic paint. I just thought it was a really fun way to use different colored ink blended panels or the strips, I should say. This next card is from Karen in Washington, and she actually has a note on the back that says, I rarely use ribbon on cards, but I needed to hide a minor craft catastrophe that probably no one but me would ever notice. Then I thought the ribbon made a nice spot to tuck a gift card holder inside. So here's the really nice card. I love the kind of angled greeting. I think that's really interesting. And it looks like, I'm not sure if she combined two embossed folders, she may have. Uh, Tim Holtz doily 3D embossing folder and yeah, another embossing. So she combined two boss embossing folders and then inside there's the ribbon here, but then she put a little gift card right there. So I thought that's just so, well, it's not the gift card, it's the gift card holder. I thought that was such a fun and interesting way to just to tuck that inside. And she's absolutely right. That's a great uh, way to use that ribbon. And this card was for the month of May. So it's a wedding love theme. These next two cards are from a mother and daughter duo. So this is from Katalea. I'm guessing how to say your name, I'm not sure. She's eight years old and from Texas, but look at this fun card. She's done a die cut grading up here. Looks like some, uh, was it embossed? Maybe just regular stamped over another stamping, some layered stamping. Such a fun way to layer all those different things and the colors are really great for this. And then her mother, um, Nahala Najala, I'm not, I'm so sorry. I'm not saying your names correctly. It does sound like a very beautiful name though. Um, she sent this one uh, along. These are both for the month of May. And I really love this one. It has a vellum covering. It looks like she may have colored vellum on the back side. Such a pretty soft wedding card, so beautiful. We now have a really stunning card from Tanya in New Jersey. Look at this amazing die cut card. It opens up and then there's a circle and then the grading all the way down there. How beautiful is this? All the die cutting and I don't know if you guys can tell but she used a flocked cardstock for I think everything except the green vines. 
so beautiful and those colors are so rich the little pops of gold paper just really shine such a beautiful card so this was Tanya this was for uh, the wedding love theme for May this next card is for June and it's from Isabel in Switzerland and she created this beautiful ink blended card so be I love these colors um, not your traditional winter or uh, holiday colors, but I love that she's ink blended them and kind of used like a raspberry shade with an orange. Just beautiful and very unexpected. This next card is from Molly in Alabama for the month of May. She actually wrote me a little note that says, I've wanted to make this card for you for months. Yes, it is supposed to be Sophie and Daphne watching for you with Kitty Love. I hope you're doing well. All right, so look how cute this is. And it's so dimensional. Hold on, let me put the envelope down. Look at this cute little kitties. I love it so much. It's so dimensional. A little spot inside for a greeting. I love that so much. This is a card from Carol in Maryland, and this is for the month of June. And she has kind of a note on what she did. So at first I'm going to show you her card, which I think is just so creative. It's got all that color. And then she says, this was a huge experiment for me. I ink blended with distress oxide ink, mustard, worn lipstick, salty ocean, pistachio, and the general areas where the flowers and leaves would be on the 3D embossing folder. So she ink blended where the flowers would be. Um, then I ink blend pistachio in all of the negative space. So she did pistachio all around all of the other areas. I spritzed the back with water and ran through with the embossing folder on the Sizzix. Then I coated lightly the negative side of the folder with black pigment ink and used a brayer to get rid of the swoosh marks. I embossed again, repeat with, with back till I was happy. And then she says, didn't work well with gray ink. So, um, I wanted to wait didn't work with gray ink as well. There we go. So such a fun way to use an embossing folder. And she's sounded like she was able to put the embossing folder through multiple times and have it line up just perfectly. So that's amazing. That's a feat in and of itself. Such a fun, creative way to do a little bit of ink blending on an embossing folder. So cool. And this is for the month of June. This is a card. It was actually for a few uh, months ago for April, which had a birthday theme, but I thought this was just so beautiful. She's taken a stitched background and sewn with embroidery floss. I just thought the details were so pretty and she's used very minimal uh, flowers elsewhere and then has the just because greeting. So beautiful. Well, happy birthday to you inside. Such a great card. And this color combo is beautiful. This pale blue uh, with a darker blue and then pops of gold and some green for the leaves. So beautiful. This next card and envelope set is from Anita in Australia, also for the month of April. Look how fun this is. There's her envelope. And then the card itself is clear and you open it up and then it says, hope your birthday is as special as you are. And there's even a little flower on the back. Just every single surface and uh, corner has been thought of so beautiful this next card is from gail in california and this is for the month of june so it's ink blending and look how beautiful this is i love it so much so it looks like she's taken um a stencil and she first ink blended the colors and then with the stencil right on top maybe a little bit offset she went back over it with a paste so you can kind of see some areas where the, the darker ink that she first ink blended are popping through. It gives it almost a shadow effect, really, really neat. And then she's taken those same ink blended colors and used that to die cut the greeting and then put that on top of the holographic cardstock and it almost makes it all look like it's holographic. Just so neat, such a fun card. This is another card from Anita in Germany, but this time for the month of May. And look at this beautiful, soft card. It has a vellum. It's actually on the front and the back. Such a fun way to adhere the vellum. Just a strip of glue right there or a tape runner. Um, but so pretty. And then you open it all the way up and there's hearts. So happy wedding. I thought it was just such a nice, fun way to use kind of an embossed vellum area uh, right over the top. Oh, and I just realized there's embossing on this area as well. It kind of matches up. So pretty. 
This card is from Sherry in Canada and it's for the month of May, so wedding or love. And look at this beautiful color combo. I wouldn't necessarily think about this color combo for a wedding card, but it definitely works. Those very like summer colors with a nice rose pink and orange and then some greens, so pretty. And then inside, happy anniversary. I love that. And I love this little pop of gold foiling over here on the side, just a great way to highlight the pops of gold from the embossing as well. So fun. And I love this little sequin, these two little sequin pieces. Can you guys see those? So interesting. They're little kind of star shapes. They look so cool. This next card is from Donna uh, from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. This is for the month of May for the wedding love theme. And I thought this was just so fun because the way she's designed this, it's almost like four little separate little designs and then put them together and they all are, you know, they, they're cohesive because they not only use the same colors um, and kind of the same imagery, but then she's overlapped them with this greeting, which is half white, half silver. So creative and fun. And then inside it says happy anniversary. Such a really fun card. Lots of design went into this and it looks beautiful. The last card I have for you is from Fabrice. Uh, he sent us cards in the past and they're always so beautiful. Such a great card maker. This is for the month of May for wedding and love. And look at this beautiful design. Um, it is, looks like uh, foiled with the frame and then the large flower over the top. And then he's used a stencil set, I'm assuming, or maybe it's a stamp, I, I think it's a stencil, to layer over that image and color in just the frame area. Such a cool technique. It is all single layer, one layer card, except for the forever greeting on top and the loved right beneath it. Such a cool card. I love that purple. I don't think we use purple enough on cards. I love it. It's beautiful. So now I'm going to share with you all of the other cards that I've received for the last few months. There are a few that are in there from previous months that came in a little bit late, uh, but I will be showing all of them to you. So here we go. many beautiful cards. I can't believe how many um, I received for the month of May. So, so many. Love those so much. Um, if you would like to participate in a future mail call, um, I'll have the themes for the rest of the year listed down below, uh, along with info for how you can print out that form that you saw and uh, fill it out so I know exactly what you're sending your card in for. And we'll also have the themes listed. So I'll put all that info down below in the video description or over at my blog. And if you want to participate, you can send those cards in. The only thing that I ask you to do is that if you would like your card uh, sent back to you, please include a self-addressed envelope and put some postage on there um, so that I can send it back to you. And thanks so much for watching today. I will see you in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.